hey what's up guys welcome to laravel article channel in this video i will show you how you can make dynamic drop down in your laravel application it's super simple uh, without any further delay let's get started here you can see here is uh, it is our simple route in web.php file and it is indicating the test controller and the index method and here it is our test controller and here it is our index method it's just returning simple view that is test.blade.php and here it is uh, our goal is uh, fetch the data from uh, categories table here our categories data by fetching the data from uh, database and send it to our test blade.php file and bind a select box let's do that data and our model is category model i'm showing you a manual method and just passing the data into your view here it is and in our view we are just pointing the data by uh, for each loop our data as row and, and for each here our option will be here row id and row name that's super simple the idea is simple just fetching the data from database by our model and send it to our uh, view and here view our data variable available here and we are just loop through uh, a for each a for each loop and inside the for each loop we are binding the each row id and the name here and here you can see here two column available id and name and just we are binding the name in option name level and the as a value we are binding the id and here it is you can see all the data is available here it is the manual method uh, you can do it uh, very simplistic way by the third party package uh, called laravel h and here it, uh, it is a helper package for laravel with that we can easily make any form just install the package and you are ready to go with the laravel helper package we can do it but just simple this way we can do this uh, it is our name category id and it will be the name of our select box and the list will be the data for the uh, for this package we have to send it uh, to just data one and we have to pass only the name and id and just showing you data one and the data one here i'm binding the data one just simple one line and we can exactly same things uh, before you can see it is our manual method and it is our it is by the package and you can uh, pass any selected predefined selected value here hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy and find this helpful please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe